So you've decided to go RVing with your dog or cat. That's awesome. We're huge fans. Or maybe you're thinking about getting a new puppy and you're worried that the RV is not the best place to train them. When you travel with your furry friend, there's a lot to consider, but exploring the country with your dog has never been easier or more rewarding. Being able to get away and adventure should be an experience for everyone, and it's becoming more popular than ever to travel with your pet in the RV. From cities to towns, state parks to national parks, we will share with you some of the locations that we've seen as being pet friendly and even some of the ones that we weren't able to do. First, let's talk about raising a puppy in an RV. There's many opinions about this topic, but we are the team of supporting it. In your home, you raise your puppy by limiting their range until they can be trusted beyond the boundaries. In an RV, their scope is determined by the size of the RV. It is the perfect scenario. Going outside is super quick and easy to keep on top of potty training, and many RV resorts even have dog parks that they can play in. Even taking those little pups around RV parks is fantastic for their socialization skills. With an endless supply of new communities to seek out, your new puppy or seasoned dog will thoroughly enjoy traveling. One of our favorite destinations to take our boy chance, Main Street, USA. Some of our best memories include taking our dog to the local downtown areas, farmer's markets, and window shopping until we've soaked in all the community culture. Main streets everywhere have opened up to pets exploring their cities alongside their humans. Many small business owners leave out water bowls outside their shops, and occasionally they even allow us to bring Chance in with us. If your pets aren't well socialized, this might be a little tricky but the possibilities are endless for dogs with excellent manners. Dining out can now even include your pet. With all the outside seating that has become popular, you can call ahead and find out if your restaurant choices have outdoor seating and may allow dogs. Okay, let's talk about state park versus national park. We have found that as a general rule, state parks are often more pet friendly than national parks. You can't always bring your dog on public beaches, and public use spaces, but the parks usually have plenty of trails to walk and explore with your buddy. Some state parks have specific beaches that are designated as dog beaches or special dog hours at a community beach where you can let them play. Of course you need to check each park ahead of time, but most of the time we find that they are way more open than national parks. Contrasting that of the states, national parks don't often allow pets on trails in order to preserve wildlife habitats and natural resources. Dogs can easily disrupt the ecosystem within the national parks, and worse yet, they can become prey for larger animals. The national park system does acknowledge the growth of traveling with our pets. Over 30 national parks have now started a bark ranger program and did this to maintain the regulations while educating people with pets. Bark rangers can now get certificates of completion, dog tags, patches, etc. Chance now has his own collection of badges started and is super excited. Bark stands for bag your own poop, always wear a leash, respect wildlife, and know where you can go. You can find the current list of parks with bark ranger programs in the comments. For the most part, we have found that the national parks are pet friendly and often are okay with pets walking on vehicle roads, but not on the wooded hiking trails. Some are also okay with pets staying within the campground boundaries, but not in the actual parks. Honestly, it's up to the park's protective needs. So think about the park and do your research first.